Hello basketball coaches and basketball players. My name is Alan from Al's Basketball Training and today I am going to show you a basketball play from somewhere if you're from North America you've probably never heard of. It's from Strasbourg. So anyways I am Alan from Us Basketball Training. On this channel, I show you basketball drills, skills, and plays. Today, I am going to show you a play from Strasbourg. This is a baseline inbounds play, so let's get down to the clipboard and let's check it out. So first, in this basketball play, we have your point guard, this guy, number one. He is going to cut across the key, and he's going to be using four and five as a screen. Once that happens, player four is going to cut across. Both these players may be open. Next, what's going to happen is player 5 screens for player 2 who may be open in the low post. And then next, what we're going to have is player 4 setting a screen on player 5 who is going to be open at the far side. Now, this is going against a man-to-man -man defense in the video you will see right now. After the video, we will go against a 2-3 zone and a 3-2 zone defense. So here we have a 2-3 zone defense and what we're going to have to start with is player 1 using 4 as a screen and if you want you could have player 4 screening up top but you don't necessarily need to do that because he may be open in this wing if player 2 doesn't follow him out fast enough or if player 1 goes down deeper he may be open there for a 3 point shot as well. After that, we're going to have player 5 cutting across, and player 4 is going to set a screen up on either player 1 or player 2 for player 2 blue to cut towards the rim, but he is definitely not going to be open. And same idea as that screen that happens here, that's not going to be open against the 2-3 zone either. So basically what you are looking for is player 1 at the beginning of this play if you do run it against a 2-3 zone. So let's go over to a 3-2 zone and see what happens. So first against a 3-2 zone we are going to have player 1 cutting across. Again, this time you're wanting, wanting to go a little bit lower because that may not bring player 3 red down which would then have player 1 blue open for a 3 point shot. Next we will have player 4 cutting across, he's probably not going to be open. And then we're going to have player 2 using 5 as a screen. Again, player depending on if player 4 red is guarding the inbounder or the center of the key, player 2 blue may be open here. And then again, you're not going to have anything cross court with player 5, so I wouldn't even worry about that. So again, this play is best against a man-to-man -man defense if you have to run it against a zone then I would be looking for your first option, which is your point guard. I hope you have enjoyed today's video. If you have, hit that like button and subscribe, and I'm going to go back to the Raptors game and uh, watch them hopefully win, maybe? I don't know. They tend to be playing right now really horribly against Denver, in Denver, but again, the higher altitude is, uh, well, against them. But anyways, uh, without further ado, Let's go back to the Raptors game. Have a great night, or a great day I should say, as this will be up tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. And I'm just talking and rambling on. Bye. If you are looking for a great basketball workout, check out these Victorum bands. They're absolutely amazing. You can attach them onto a pole, you can work on your first step, or somebody can hold you back, and you can run with it and work on your legs. Check them out in the link in the description below. They're amazing. Hello, so if you have liked this video, click over here to subscribe, or maybe over here, depending on which side I put it on. I don't know yet. Anyways, uh, also, the opposite direction, or the opposite side, is another video you may like. So I hope to see you again in one of those next videos. Yeah.